This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Well, over the course of the past couple of years, there's been a lot of talk about the character or lack thereof related to Donald Trump. I've often believed that to accurately see the true character of a person, one must view it through a lens of adversity. Because when things are tough, that is when someone's true self is revealed. Well, this is especially the case for Donald Trump, I believe. And today, being September 11th, I'm reminded of several interviews Donald Trump gave in the hours that followed the mind-numbing events that morning in New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. Donald Trump couldn't get, a, get, get to a phone fast enough to appear on news programs and to talk about himself and his wealth and his holdings. Watch this short clip, which is one of many from 16 years ago, where Donald Trump showed his true character. Uh, did you have any damage or did you know what, what's happened down there? Well, it was an amazing phone call I made. 40 Wall Street actually was the second tallest building in downtown Manhattan. And, and it was actually before the World Trade Center was the tallest. And then when they built the World Trade Center, it became known as the second tallest. And now it's the tallest. So this reporter is asking about the scope of the damage down in that area around Wall Street, you know, five or so blocks from where this happened. And rather than give details about the question, Donald Trump took the opportunity to brag about the size of his building, that it was now the tallest. This was within only a couple of minutes of estimating that there were likely 20,000 people dead. I mean, you probably have 25 or 30,000 is the number I've heard, but I would think it would be much more than that. I think the most of the damage will be caused not by even in the building in terms of the people dead, but by the people on the streets from falling debris. And I point this out to put it in perspective, the fact that he understood the seriousness of the situation and still stole a moment to make it about himself and to brag about himself and the buildings that he owned. Donald Trump hasn't changed a single iota. He is still a sickening sociopath who has no concern for others or empathy for their struggles and pain. The issue now is that he's all of our problem. Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you like what I do here and you appreciate it, go ahead and uh, click subscribe. And if you really like it and appreciate what I do and you'd like to, to join my Patreon family, there's another link there for that. It's not just for the podcast. <laughs> it's also for YouTube. Thanks a lot.